Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about increasing views. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is it possible to write code that can increase views on media platforms like YouTube for, say, a video, given that there's no logging required to view the YouTube videos? Yes. They're called botnets. Botnets, yeah, something like that. Uh, basically what it is is that uh, you have some, and I mean people people pay Russian hackers well I'm not gonna say just Russians there are many types of hackers there are t tons of people who have an entire business model built around botnets where they pay you like you, you can pay them to uh, jump in on your videos or uh, click likes or create dummy accounts and create followers and all of that sort of stuff uh, and all the platforms, literally every single one of them, have uh, defense systems that trace this. And if you get caught buying these services, you might be in for some... Well, they might shut down your channel or your account or something like that. Botting is basically, that's what all it is. Uh, you create a script or you create a, a piece of software that simulates a user. That's all it is. And uh, for those of you who may not have thought about it in that way, uh, I mean, the thing that you see in the browser, like all of these interactions that you do with HTML and so forth, so forth, you can do all that through code. You can automate all of this. You can sc do uh, screen scraping, as we call it, where you go to HTML pages and just extract the data. You can do, you can simulate it. You can like create a headless browser or like uh, just use a headless browser like uh, Chromium. No. Uh, uh, a system like I think yeah it's I think it's chromium uh, you can also use and uh, together with something like uh, puppeteer uh, you can use playwright you can use selenium is a very popular one I mean these sorts of tools we use those actually as well like for not nefarious reasons such as this uh, to actually just test websites it's actually something that I mean I've used it in a lot of my com companies that I've worked in before uh, just to try your own application because uh, basically what you want is to create tests, uh, so-called regression tests or end-to-end -end tests, where you spin up your own application and then you have a, com a computer basically just click through the flow to see if things are still working. But I mean, you can use, I mean, it's the exact same process as the botnets are using. Like they literally do the exact same thing. The You simply run, a, you can buy either if you have your own set up a home which is pretty easy to set I mean if you want to if you it's probably easier to just set it up through something li like a cloud solution you can go to Amazon um, I mean you can do it today I mean that's not gonna be super scalable but uh, you can go to say a platform like Amazon today and spin up like a bunch of micro instances of different VMs or whatever or you can do it in another way and just well basically create scripts that say hey the, the, you can install a Selenium web driver or, as I said, uh, Playwright or Puppeteer or uh, Cypress or something like that and just create a script that says, hey, go to this video and just like it or like do things like go and visit YouTube and click around and do all these things. I mean, you can do it whenever you want. But as I said, uh, usually YouTube and... Uh, TikTok and like these different platforms, they have like ways. Like they they do put a lot of effort into tracking this because for them this is very bad. Like this is really bad because like their intent, of course, is to create as much revenue for themselves as humanly possible. And if you can fuck up their al the algorithms and like promote yourself in that way, that's not going to make them any money. And so there is def like there are defenses for this. So if you do this sort of thing. Uh, there are definitely systems that you can either buy without having to write the code yourself or you can write the code yourself if you're so if you're a programmer but I highly encourage you to not do this sort of thing uh, if you're uh, be, or because it, it is risky there are definitely a lot of youtubers and so forth that do this sort of thing and like uh, snapchat uh, influencers and so forth because I mean everybody knows that it, it, it is about the number the number of uh, followers you have and like all this that that number is the, that's your power right there that's the thing that that's the the gold standard of how well you're doing on on the internet and 
there are many many people who are willing to sell you fake followers and fake likes and fake everything just uh, b just because we all know that that is such a valuable number for you and uh, whatever you're doing on the internet so what I want you to take away from this is that if you do decide that you want to go down the nefarious path of creating a very popular YouTube channel or something like that uh, you can buy botnets or you can buy these sorts of services from people on the internet uh, you can also build it yourself if you wanted to it's actually not that hard if you're a programmer you can definitely do it all you really need to do is to use a automation like a something like an automated uh, testing framework such as selenium webdriver puppeteer playwright cypress there's there's probably more than that you can pick your language anything that allows you to spin up a headless browser or something like that and simulate clicks and so forth on a web interface because then you create a script that basically goes to the channels like wherever you want to go if it's snapchat or youtube or whatever and then you just run the script it's the exact same thing you will do if you work as a professional software developer and you do end-to-end -end testing it's just that you're not directing the script the 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 bot towards your own application to test that you're directing it to something like youtube to just simulate the clicks and so forth you will of course have to write scripts and so forth in some cases where you I mean you, you're going to have to deal with different ip addresses uh, you try to simulate you can use the tor network is also a good one where you can uh, you you need to away like an onion router or something like that where you can hit the website from different uh, different ips around the world and proxy basically uh, that's uh, that's something that you're going to have to do you're also going to have to think about creating multiple fake accounts and dealing with like recaptcha and other security measures like uh, checking if you're a bot and so forth like the the combating bots on the internet is a huge huge thing for companies like google and facebook and so forth because there is a lot of money and a lot of problems that come from that there's a lot of incentive for for some people to create these solutions because as I said it is big it, it there is business and money to be had because there's a lot of people who are willing to pay to get fake likes and fake views and so forth but the companies who have the platforms they don't want that because they it's gonna fuck up their revenue stream so it's an ongoing battle and I don't think that it's like uh, ads versus ad blockers or similar sorts of things uh, so well, I'll leave it to you to ask to if you want to do this or not. But I highly suggest that you 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 be careful because if they catch you, it's uh, yeah you're losing your your you're gonna lose your account. Have a great day.